Hello my friends, so in this video I'm going to show you how to get all your historical trades from the beginning of time with interactive brokers using flex queries and I'm going to show you how to group them by like the actual trade itself like you would expect from either the API or from TWS or your phone. So like let's say you're doing a combo with many legs like a bull cost spread or something like that, you can do that, uh, group it by that or if you are um, rolling an option you can group it by that. So this is not an API thing. I'm gonna show you how to just use the flex query to download a CSV and we can worry about APIs next time. So we're gonna do historical trades and we're gonna throw in some things like commissions. So let's get started. So first thing you need to do is Google Interactive Brokers. I guess I have it um, kind of remembered. And you go to the client portal, you have to log in. And once you're logged in, this is what you do. So it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna have your, uh, um, uh, your client portal, and then you go to performance and reports, flex queries. And it's important you listen to what I say because if you don't um, do every single thing, it's not gonna work at, at for the second part, meaning combining uh, um, orders that, you, that the API thinks are together, like the bull call spread and that sort of thing. So let's, uh, there's so many things you can get with flex queries and we'll make a bigger video on that, but for now, let's just do the trade confirmation. This will just give us the orders the trade. So let's do create. We're going to create a new flex query. Um, and let's call this uh, demo. Okay. So uh, sections is trade confirmation. Let's just take only execution. And what do we want? Let's just take, uh, let's take the symbol, the description and symbol are very similar. But what is very important is we want uh, this, we want, um, um, we want to take uh, the uh, brokerage order ID because brokerage order ID is what's going to allow us to basically um, put together uh, legs of a contract. So like if you were just to do the order ID here and execution ID, you're not going to get the individual legs of the contract. Like you're not going to be able to group them together. So you really need the brokerage ID for that. Um, let's take date time. Let's do um, uh, buy, sell, quantity, price, amount proceeds, net cash, uh, commission. Um, and uh, if you want, you can do is API order, for example. So, but the key, as I told you guys, is this brokerage order ID, because that's what um, uh, is related to our logic of thinking. Um, because uh, we do things by like, uh, uh, let's say like bulk off spread by the entire trade, not the separate legs. Okay, so you save this. And now what do you do? Um, models, this is also very important. You have to write all. If you don't write all, this is not gonna work. Um, and then you can do format CSV, but this is actually not that important because you can change it later. Um, include header or tra and trailer records, say no. Include uh, column headers, say yes. Um, and then this is just some formatting for the date time. But what's important here is to do include audit trail fields. That's important. So let's click yes. And alias for account ID, I'm not even returning account ID, so it doesn't matter. So now it gives you this and it tells you to confirm. Remember, I told you guys, um, the most important thing is model all, and you wanna have not order ID, you want brokerage order ID, because that's what allows you to connect multiple legs of a transaction. Order ID is just for each uh, specific contract. So now I do create and now I do okay. So now I have this thing, right? So now what I can do now is I can uh, basically, uh, now I can run, right? And run and I can select the period. So by default, you can only do a, a year, but if you want more than a year, you can do like a custom date range and you can scroll the way back to like 2022, and then you can do to 2023. Uh, uh, like this will give you like past dates, so you can get that later. But one at a time, you can only do a year. Let's just for our case, just do the last business day. So I do run, and then what's going to happen is it's going to download a CSV file, and uh, I guess it's uh, oh I, I ran test or demo. I meant to run demo. Sorry, uh, today and CSV. Oh no, sorry, let's not do that. Sorry, let's do last business day because today uh, the, the, there is no trades today. Last business day and let's uh, run. 
So it, it should download something called demo, I guess demo one. Okay, so demo one and let's open the file to see how it looks. So uh, you see you have everything. You have like um, symbol, description, uh, order ID, execution ID, brokerage uh, ID, order ID. This is the most important thing. Uh, date and time, buy, sell, if it's a quantity, negative always for sell, positive for buy, price, this is the price per transaction, this is the amount, proceeds, this is before, um, uh, okay, so amount and proceeds are just inverse of each other, so we don't really need proceeds. Net cash is if you remove commissions, and then there's commissions, and then there is, is API order. So you guys will see how much commissions I and my real account spent uh, on Friday, which is insane. Over $1,000 in commissions in one business day, which is just ridiculous, but okay. So let's show you how, how, how we can do this. Um, so uh, one second. Oops, sorry. Um, I guess I, uh, okay, so what did I call it? I called it, um, so I did D, DF equals PD. I called it, what did I call it? I called it demo, right? So I called it downloads uh, demo. What is it? Demo, demo one, I called it. Demo, de demo one dot CSV. So the data frame looks like this. Um, okay, so, um, so what I want is I wanna show you guys, um, I wanna show you guys, um, like how to, let, let's just uh, calculate uh, things per um, specific, like uh, per like actual trade. So like if you do brokerage order ID, um, this, first of all, let me just show you before I get to anything. If I just do DF that group by brokerage order ID, and, and by the way, symbol, as you see, it's, it's the symbol of the option. The description is just kind of the same. It, it has a description, but if I do group by brokerage order ID and I do symbol, and then I do something like n unique, um, okay, I spelled brokerage order ID wrong. It's like this. So you see, you have some with three symbols, but if I were just to do order ID, and let me just write it as a new line. If I were just to do order ID, you'll see, I have one, so order ID is unique to the individual contract, um, but um, brokerage order ID, if you have more than one leg, you can put things together. So like what I wanted to do is I wanted to do something like uh, df.groupby, and let's do brokerage ridge order ID. Let's also do, um, let's do description. We don't need description and symbol, I think that's enough. And let's just uh, calculate a few things. Let's just calculate, um, uh, a few things. So um, let's do something like ag, and let's do, uh, what do you, what should we calculate? So let's calculate, um, we can calculate the, uh, let's say the average price. So average price per the leg of the contract. So we can do something like, um, uh, we can do something like price equals uh, price. And sorry, I didn't prepare so much for this video. <laughs> Uh, quantity, let's do the, let's do the total quantity, quantity, sum, uh, let's call this average price, and let's do, uh, what, what else were, was there that was important? We, we spoke about, um, um, let's look at this DF thing, we spoke about um, uh, 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 net cash, and we spoke about um, commission, right? Net cash and commission. Okay, so uh, net cash and commission. Okay, so uh, let's also add that. We'll do. Um, uh, sorry, we'll do net cash. Cash equals net cash sum, and then let's do commission. Let's see equals commission. Some. Remember, amount uh, is it, net cash just tracks the commission for the amount. So as you see here, it, when when I group this, I have like okay. So for the brokerage order ID, you'll notice that I have um, a dis, uh, the description. So this is just 
but this is one contract altogether. So if I were to also like do something like, uh, I, I mean, I, I can't group by date and time because there'll be multiple records, but like, this is one leg. And the leg, basically, uh, it, it was me kind of uh, rolling Rivian in a weird way. I bought 138 12.5s, sold 138 13s um, uh, for this week, and then also sold 138 15s. So I paid almost... $300 in commissions just on this trade. This is real for my real account, by the way. So like, okay, so this is one like uh, combo. And then I have other combos like here, I rolled meta. I had the 517 uh, and a half expired uh, uh, July 5th last week and I rolled to 522. And as you see, like I, I, uh, I got, uh, basically I, I paid this amount and I got this amount. So like overall I rolled for a little bit of, of money here but it's not always the case. Like with Tesla, I paid to roll. So if you go, if you look here, um, and you look, if you add these two, it's a negative. So I paid to roll. So let's actually uh, make this a little bit uh, more uh, uh, like easier to read. So I'll do my stats. And first of all, let's let's uh, let me just uh, say like uh, this is for one day, by the way. <laughs> Commission paid on Friday. Day, July 5th. This is my real account. Let's see. Moment of truth, how much commission I paid. That sum. It's going to be a negative number. So I guess we can do uh, dot abs. I paid over $1,000 of commission on Friday. Wow, that's terrible. So now let's do other things. Let's, um, let's, uh, so I had the average price of the individual legs. Uh, by the way, um, just to make it a little bit more clear, if I add order ID here, like the regular order ID, you'll see uh, what I meant by uh, uh, that. Why is this not working? Oh, you'll see what I meant by, uh, oops. Um, uh, so as you see, each of these has a different order ID, right? So anyways, but like if you have the brokerage order ID, which is why I said it was so important, you get for the whole thing. So maybe I should uh, now calculate for each leg how much I paid. Uh, so I can do something like my stat, each uh, combo, what was the net amount paid? So I can do like my stats, um, uh, net uh, amount, uh, okay, I'll say like total amount paid equals, um, uh, my stats dot group by brokerage ID order ID um, and then I'll do um, I'll do net cash dot sum uh, that, that tra sorry that transform because I want it for each line and then sum so um, how is this gonna look if I do my stats so what, how this is gonna look is it's gonna basically add the total amount paid for each one. So the category will have this as, as some. So it's, a, it's like a group by on this thing, but because there are three records, it gives you the same for each one. It's just a, that's what the transform thing does. I guess if you guys wanna pan this video, let me know. So let, then I can do like average. So I can say like um, cost per, um, uh, cost per, uh, uh, share or whatever um, uh, I can say um, uh, it'll be a negative of this so basically what I can do is I can do uh, this is the amount paid right so I guess cost per share would be this divided by the number of shares right so what are the total number of shares we had um, and the number of shares would have been um, if it's a uh, see, this is not always accurate because the legs are uh, can be like uh, so. I have I have some ghetto legs where I have different amounts like one forty and seventy. So uh, okay, anyways, uh, total amount paid is interesting, and you can also have like commission per. Uh, you can do the same thing with commission. You can do commission per uh, um, per like combo or whatever. So I can I can do like my stats that group by. Anyways, this was not the most prepared video, but like, I hope it's useful. 
And like I said, you can get the uh, historical data for later day, dates uh, from earlier in time by like customly writing the date range, but you can only do one year at a time. So if I were to do the same thing, oh, oops, sorry. If I were to do the same thing, uh, net ca instead of net cash, I can do like um, a commission sum, and then I get um, this my stats thing. So as you see, like uh, I paid on this trade two hundred ninety one dollars in commissions, which is insane. I paid over a thousand in commissions, and Interactive Brokers doesn't cut me any slack. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was useful. Uh, if you are new, please like, please subscribe, and we'll do more flex query things. Uh, thank you so much. Bye bye.